Hey everyone, and welcome to uh, this campaign of the Avatar Tabletop RPG as um, made by Magpie Games. Um, we will, well, this is the first video actually of uh, a full on campaign in the Avatar, uni in Avatar world, and we will be playing um, in the Hundred Year War, which is uh, quite fun. If I must say. Yay, war. <laughs> war! Yay. Um, this adventure, this story will set off, uh, start out uh, in the western Earth Kingdom, but which is still under the control of the uh, Fire Nation at this point in time. The big baddies. The big baddies, yeah. The big fiery baddies. Um, if you don't know what the Avatar TTRPG is yet, um, be sure to have a look at it, Google it, um, and be interested. And otherwise, just watch and see what it is like to actually play. There's also an introductory campaign on this uh, channel. Yes, we are actually. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> That's good. a good one. Right. That's a good hook. Uh, if you want to <laughs> see a one shot uh, instead of a full on campaign, uh, it's just one full video of one full night of people playing. GM'd by me, and there's also some visits by some people at this table. Not me. <laughs> uh, be sure to check down in the info box below uh, for the check link to the that, or check out the uh, whole channel of the Rift for that video. Um, as of right now, of recording, the book has not been uh, delivered yet to our um, humble place in the Netherlands. So, rules might change or you're watching from a point in time where these rules that we're using don't make sense uh we will also be home homebrewing a bit to uh, fit more with the characters uh, at the table so keep that in mind and if you have any suggestions on using rules differently please leave them, leave them down below in the comments um and yeah so this game it, it's a story an adventure um told through the characters, their eyes and heads, uh, the emotions they go through. So I would like to um, have you kick off, Justin. Oh, Who fuck. are you playing during this uh, game? <laughs> well, my character's name is uh, Tonrek. He's That's from the... the first beat of this video, right? <laughs> <laughs> we do introduce ourselves as players oh, as well. Wait, are you oh, censoring you curse huh? words? Oh. And he's going to have a and tough time. I don't think he's <laughs> censoring curse words. So. Yeah. You can also uh, tell who you are if you want to. or. Uh, the player. Yeah, uh, my character is. Oh, or like. You. <laughs> the player oh, behind the character. No, fuck it. The man <laughs> behind the mask. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Justin. I'm playing Donrek today and the other, <laughs> in the other sessions. Uh, uh, my character is from the no Northern Water Tribe. Uh, when he was young, he got. Uh, his parents got murdered by the Fire Nation and he got taken away to a camp, but he escaped. Uh, to the Earth Kingdom uh, and uh, joined a gang f from uh, one of the other characters of the group. Um, his appearance is uh, like a nin ninja-like outfit. Uh, outfit. Uh, if you've seen the the Southern Raiders episode from Avatar: The Last Airbender, you may know the one Katara and Zuko are wearing something like that, but a bit more Earth Kingdom -y I think vibe. I'm gonna try to illustrate. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, I'll explain it. Um, my character uh, is a bit un unconventional with his uh, play style because he didn't learn water bending from a master or a teacher or so something like that. So he had to come up with it himself. So he uses uh, a form of ice weapons, but that's maybe more something more for later in the campaign. Um, he. His background is more outlaw, although he grew up in a village. Uh, his demeanor is uh, compassionate because he uh, doesn't like it when uh, people get treated uh, poorly by the Fire Nation. But also a bit lonely because he uh, his parents got killed. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> it's not and, uh, That's why he's also idealist because he wants to um, honor his past uh, of the Water Tribe. He wants to learn more about it. Cool. Well, I'm I'm Gucheng, Guacheng, Guacheng. Uh, I'm a nerf bender. My parents are broke. My grandpa was a nerf bender. He's dead. They murdered him, 
It happens. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, I've been practicing earthbending mostly for tactical uh, for tactical use. Um, my parents put all the money that they had into a master to teach me earthbending, to get me up to the great standards of my granddad. Uh, I've been practicing a lot, and now I'm traveling to go to a new master to continue tra uh, like practicing. Thank you. Right, I'm playing Tsuke, uh, he's an earthbender, uh, he's been living on the streets for as long as he knows, uh, he's a very uh, blunt type of guy, very soloistic, uh, and he has a gang w around him with, that is called the Iguas, right? Yeah, the Iguas. Um, uh, I have a very like raw style of bending because uh, you know, I was out living on the streets, uh, didn't really get proper training or whatever, so it mainly just involves uh, hurling rocks at enemies. <laughs> um, I don't really have like a very anti-Fire Nation uh, past or whatever, but you know, the Fire Nation is a, a nice target for, for my raids, trying to get some loot or, or whatever I can find from them. So. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, my name, the player, me, I, my name is V, um, and in this campaign I'm going to be playing Ryu. Uh, Ryu is a, um, has the successor background, if you're familiar with the playbook, otherwise I guess it's going to make sense in game, and he is Fire Nation. He's a very well-meaning boy, uh, who um, is a bit oblivious, at least that's his demeanor. So he really, like, he grew up, like, very, you know, very, like, privileged environment like his family was quite powerful they were um like their power came from like media news so they were kind of like the propaganda makers of the fire nation so obviously he grew up really fire nation and also extremely sheltered because of his family's sort of like power and influence and now he has joined the army to um further the fire nation cause and also it's because that's just the thing that they do to young men in prestigious family they send them to the army so now he's there and he's trying to you know do good he thinks that the fire nation is gonna bring good things to the rest of the world and i guess we will see how he grows and learns <laughs> indeed well we'll see how you all grow and learn as kids because um yeah we are indeed, well, you guys are indeed uh, playing kids in this game. Uh, so keep in mind when, well, as, a, as someone who's watching, um, keep that in mind when thinking about uh, these characters. But the age range is like 15 to 16 of most of our characters, right? Yeah. Like we're it's playing so like young, like young teenagers. Adults. Yeah, mm -hmm. very, yeah, like right in the middle of their... Um, the Hot hormones are uh, making hormone bands in here. As much as I think we're all playing boys, so it's really gonna be like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a really sweaty bunch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. To set the scene for where we are today, uh, where we are today, where everything starts, the port of Sanshai has been occupied by the Fire Nation for quite some time. As it is on the, right on the border of the Earth Kingdom, Kingdom and the Fire Nation is one of the first places where the Fire Nation Navy ships moored and, um, well, took power. In the past, it is all, the place has always been uh, where all merchants of all nations were welcomed. Um, not much has changed actually under Fire Nation administration. Uh, but only for the uh, red flag waving above the administrative building on the east side of the docks and the military presence. People come and go, uh, do, doing their business and leaving again over the Mosha Sea or over the land, deeper into the Western North Kingdom. And today it's a sunny, nice spring day uh, in Sanshai port town. Um, it's around midday. And people are shuffling towards the stalls, selling freshly prepared lunch items, little steamed buns and like fried up noodles and whatnot. Uh, the merchant dock of the port is filled with boats and hungry seamen for this lunchtime. Um, at a longer, more sturdy looking dock, a Fire Nation Navy ship is moored and there are guards all around. 
It's a much larger dock and this ship has been there for a few days already. Um, and even though it is a beautiful day with clear skies, you do feel a certain tension and heaviness in the air among the um, occupants of the town and all the merchants. Uh, they're all a bit on edge and whisper whispering about a valuable artifact being transported by the navy. For the past days, the amount of Fire Nation guards has doubled, doubled if not tripled. And they all patrol the areas of town with precision. So I would now like to ask you where you are in town. You don't have to give like a specific street name because there are no street names. <laughs> <laughs> but where you kind of are on this day, are you buying lunch or are you uh, just mm -hmm. strolling about? Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm blending in with some, some sailors, you know, talking, drinking. Eating lunch, Aren't we keeping together? an eye out on the, you know, yeah, we probably have, have been set up in, in tactical places, so we each have our, you know, little zone that we we uh, keep an eye on. So uh, that's probably where I am amid some sailors, like blended in. Uh, I guess I'm around the market or something. Was there a market? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm around the market, uh, looking out, uh, seeing uh, if there any fire. Uh, Nation guards are walking around. I'm just at the market buying some supplies. Nice. What supply are you buying right now? Well, right now I'm actually buying some cabbages. Some cabbages. Because I really want to have some greens on the boat. <laughs> That's good, like, to avoid the scurvy. <laughs> Speaking of scurvy, <laughs> I'm not too far from the Fire Nation army. I think I'm still, like, close to the where the mm, ship and shit is, like, where the other soldiers are. Yeah. Am I on duty right now? Yeah, yeah. you are. Yes, so I'm just on duty in my silly little uniform. As you can hear, our group of wee kids aren't together yet, but that will change. Um, I want to make a specification, which yes. is that my character is very nervous because he's very green in the army and so his palms are very sweaty and he's just like very he's anxious. He's going in, he's going <laughs> in it like, like with like heart palpitation, this old, this old, this old army thing. Amazing. Amazing. Is he in the army or the navy? Well, army, but like, I don't know, do, do they make that difference in, in the lore? No. <laughs> right? It's Not just, you're just army. Well, we have Admiral Joe, so. And generals also. Iron. I'm very bad at all the Xiao gets killed by oh, the moon oh, spirit. No, he wait, no, but I am very bad at like all the army. It could be kind army. Of names military and names. admirals from the navy and didn't the general you, didn't from the Didn't you say that uh, that they doubled or tripled the guard? Could be that they brought in a, a boat full of army guys to stand yeah. by. Yeah, yeah, good. His garrison is usually army. I think Isabel has a plan. I know that face is the face of somebody who has a plan. <laughs> <laughs> um. So there's still the heavy tension in the other people try to act as if nothing is up. Um, and at one point, um, from a certain part of the market that you can't really discern, and no one knows really where they suddenly come from, there's a large group of guards, like in turtle mode, around um, something being carried, and they are walking down towards the um well the west side <laughs> <laughs> uh the west side towards the uh, dock where the um fire nation or navy ship is supposed to be and it is at this point where suddenly a bunch of kids jump at this bar barricade um, and they try to make a heist out of it and I think you two might be among those mm -hmm. uh, one elder well more old looking um, boy jumps out and screams we are the iguas give give it to us or else but the guards they don't really think much about it um, 
But something changes suddenly as a bunch of explosives go off in the market uh, down the uh, main road. People all are riled up, screaming, make, getting their way out of it. Um, what do your characters do? I'm going to walk towards the explosion. I put <laughs> down my cabbage, I put down my lentils, and I walk towards the explosion. Well, how uh, far away am I? Like, am I amongst the gods that, like... You just said you were by the ship. Yeah, I was right. by... So very close to the explosion. Oh, it's, uh, you, you, I think you can run to it. I think I, I... I'm more like, look around and I look at the other soldiers and I'm like, what do we do? I'm like, what do we... I, I'm like, it's, what do we do? You know, super. so I'm, I'm panicking a little bit. We wait for orders. But but the explosion are we not gonna go check that out? Like that sounded pretty We wait for orders to green. <sighs> Guess I wait for orders. <laughs> but very worriedly wait for orders. <laughs> like I'm just gonna <laughs> Okay, just stand here. Is uh Xuka also there on the market now or well, is he? Uh, do we have prior knowledge that we didn't wire up anything? Right, it isn't well, our Did you wire something up? Well, did you wire something up? Yeah, did you wire <laughs> something up? <laughs> 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 I didn't really <laughs> know about that. But are you also uh, now on the market? Or? Yeah, I, I guess I just used the, the explosion as a sign of that our heist is gonna fail, so I, I probably just book it. You know? Okay, uh, I'll run at the. Uh, did the fire guards get dispersed or something, or because of the explosion? Or? Well, very. There are um, for those who are not harmed during the explosions, they are very on um, high alert mm. and uh, looking for their uh, admiral, their commandant, uh, for further action. Is there anything your character mm. does? Me Maybe see if they are distracted so I can sneak past them and grab something. Mm. You can. You do you want to try something or? Can I uh, look f for uh, intelligence? Uh, roll for intelligence. Let's see what oh. might fit that move. Assess the situation. Go ahead and roll. Okay, creativity. Oh, the first roll. Fuck. <laughs> Four <laughs> plus one, that's five. So. so, you don't get to ask any okay. question. Uh, I'm, to uh, assess the situation. I'm uh, very confused because of the explosion. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and while everyone is pretty confused and worried uh, while standing away, uh, a group of well, they run that quick and they're not that tall, and you're not quite sure whether they're adults or also kids like you are. Uh, they wear dark green clothing and they the goblins. The goblins. <laughs> <laughs> and they swoop in to get the artifact from the um, from the guards, and they're in the blink of an eye, they're there and they're gone again. Hmm. Uh, it is then when uh, uh, a commander comes rushing out uh, of the ship you're next to, kind of wiping away his lunch. Uh, you see, you see that he still has a napkin around his neck. And like, but <coughs> that's to the market, quick! I start running. I, I I take a moment to like be bamboozled, and then I start running. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Inside, I'm like, I'm freaking. I'm like, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's okay. You did this a training. You're fine. You're good. Like, this is gonna. You're gonna be a hero. Like, it's gonna go great. I go. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and it is with those guards that everyone at the market is grounded up. Um. And the three of you end up standing together in a group while waiting uh, to be interrogated and one of the guards guarding you is real as well 
Stay where you are. Don't move. Are you holding Dying. a knife? I think I don't know. What does the like Fire Nation equipment look like? Actually, do I have like a sword? Yeah, it was Throwing sword, it. right? Or like yeah. a uh, spear? But yeah, it can like you can intimidate them with fire. That's also a new one, yeah. I don't think it would be really intimidation at that point. I guess it's called capital punishment. <laughs> <laughs> but like, stay where you are with weapon, with generic weapon. Stay where you are, you know. Like, I I would like round it up around them. Yeah. So I'm, just, cool. I'm just doing what the other soldiers are doing, kind of like nervously looking around myself. Be like, okay, I'm in this situation now. Okay, this is fine. This this kids look my age, but this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> and with this group, there's also. Thing like this. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. There's also one other kid uh, who's been put into to the kids group of you. And there's a lot of. Um, anxiety around you feel on the uh, uh, no one is sure what is going to happen nobody sure is sure what just happened and not even sure what just got stolen because no one knows what this artifact is uh, so you are with four kids surrounded by guards one of which is who what do you do uh, I say, uh, let us go. We have nothing to do with this. <laughs> Bro, I just saw some fucking goblins steal a big ass thing. I need to get out of here. Like, just let me go home. I didn't do anything with the fucking robbery. Uh, a guard, a bit old looking than uh, the one standing there, uh, comes, on, comes up to you and says, Stay put. You were there at the market. We are going through everyone. We'll see. Go ahead, serve me. I don't have any reason to be here. I wait, go. Wait here. Can I say silence? Okay. Your rules stink. <laughs> silence, you two. <laughs> Your rules stink. Shut the fuck up. He has to be to an adult, right? Oh uh, yeah, the other yeah, guard. He has to be to an adult. He has to be to By telling him the rules are stupid. Roll of passion. Okay, I'll roll of <laughs> passion. <laughs> Four and uh, plus five. Okay. <laughs> On a hit, no, okay, that's not um, a hit. Yeah, so it misses, and then it says your efforts to move them only reveal how strongly they believe in the system. Okay, fuck. Uh, and this guard goes, What are you trying to do, you little scumbag? What are you trying to do? You think you can topple the great power of us? And I yes. want you to mark a condition. Oh, uh, of being afraid because <laughs> there's an adult screaming at you in this fucking weird situation uh, I'm sorry for cursing um, so yeah damn is there damn. anything else? you know what dude, after that just do your thing I got nothing to do yeah. with this you wait Silence. around until, you're, until the commander comes to interrogate all good brother if you have nothing to hide then you shouldn't be afraid Go back to my cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any food? No. no. I said stop talking. Okay. The fourth My one. head I think nice, nice. Well done. You're doing so well. Why? You're doing so well. The fourth one, uh, that's there. Um, is a um, well a boy around your age. And he speaks up. Wanted food? I've got a. Uh, I've got my lunch. If you want to buy it. Uh, I don't have any money, but thanks. If you want to eat, I can give you some. Sure. It's right. been a while since I've eaten something. Hey, what is that? Sure. I look I up to. I look up to one of the adults. And he's like, I'm like, is that, is that okay? Like, I'm just like. They're doing things to to, to the other soldier. Well, oh, it is lunchtime. Okay. Well, are we not Just allowed food. to eat Co anymore? No. Continue. <laughs> Continue. I'm not, I'm not. Very tense, if you can't tell. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mom, your kidney. <laughs> what's, your, what, what's your name? Uh, my name is uh, Lula. What's your name? 
Tom Raak. Not Ooh. from around here. Uh, no, no, uh, from somewhere else in, else in the Earth Kingdom. I want to know that I'm eavesdropping. I'm listening. <laughs> like quietly, I'm I have just listening to this convo. Do you have any idea what just happened? Uh, no, uh, no idea. Uh, explosion, uh, it was all very confusing. Yeah, I'm sure. It sure was, yeah. I'm sure. I guess you just have to wait until um, it's our turn. And he points at like other groups. Um, well, it's not really a nice foresight, maybe, um, to what will be coming. There's people heavily f- being heavily thrown around to get some words out of them. Uh. I uh, I grab uh, Tuke and whisper in his ears. Uh, this is going out of hand. This was not the plan. Uh, I don't want to get beaten. Hey, I'm... no whispering. <laughs> <laughs> if you have something to say, if you have something to share with the class. <laughs> no. If you have some, no whispering. And I kind of look nervously to one of the other soldiers, like, what's that okay? case that we're we supposed to do? Quite well, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> does she uh, does real movement? Like, is she like walking past, or can she forever hear us? I'm can a he... boy. Oh, <laughs> can he forever hear us? Because uh, I kind of want to respond to him, like you know, keep it down, don't make ourselves suspicious if they find out he is we're going. with the gang, you know? Mm, I'm kind of, I think just... we're all standing still around yeah. you. Like, yeah. we're just a group of people standing still around you. Right. Is it just the four you of them? Just... just these four kids? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, just, like, I'll just do, yeah. uh, do to him. Like, How many guards are we? Down, you know? um, the two of you. Okay, just two of us. But okay. are the backs or are they watching us? Actively. Watching actively. Mm. And there's a lot of guards like oh, like you are there and then there's all the little groups of There are better guards. ways of being and murdered. <laughs> guards around there again. <laughs> so it's uh So our best shot is just to go with it, right? Well our best shot is to just go with it. Because yeah. we're innocent after all. You know, I we're, guess, we're yeah. still in a gang, but you know, we might slip by. I'm also like trying to pay attention 100%, but the old situation is very overwhelming. So I, like, I think it is realistic that maybe I miss some of their dialogue, like, because I'm like looking around. There's people I'm assuming there's like people running and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, you can maybe try something where you 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 roll to rely on your skills and training to kind yes. of stand guard, and then if uh, and their character fails, you guys are able to have a small conversation while whispering. Mm, perfect. Yeah, so yes, you we'll roll on. for rely on your skills and train, you roll if you're focused. Okay, I have plus one on that. A seven, eight. Is this um, successful? Semi. Mm. So, I think you, you two will be able to converse for like two sentences each. Okay. Before this one. Ru. <laughs> <laughs> Before Ru picks up. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, where did our guys with the explosion? And uh, then I'll, I'll say back no, that wasn't wasn't ours. I don't know what was. This was not the plan. This is going horribly, horribly wrong. Yeah. And then she kind of picks up and I'm like, keep it down. Yeah, I'm like, hey, <laughs> behave. No lolly gang. No, <laughs> no whispering. And then the um, you see as the inter- interrogation squad moves to the group next to you. Um, and you can hear a bit more clearly what they're asking. Um, the commander, a stern looking older man, the one um, that was running out of your ship before with the lunch, with his nap. <laughs> um, 
Did he take off the napkin? He did take off the napkin. I got cleaned up a little bit. Okay. Does uh, he still have like a couple of crumbs in his beard? No, it's just some blood, some blood splatters. <laughs> <laughs> Real yuck. Fire Nation style. Oh, yuck. He's asking where people were, their location, if they're, they know anything at all. And if they don't answer, they are got some, um, yeah. That's somewhere where the blood splatters in his beard came from. Better. Okay. I see that, and I'm like, I I look up to the other soldier, and I'm like, wait, why is he like, why are they being so rough to those people? Like they they haven't done anything. Like I kind of whisper to him like a little bit. Can I roll for something so they they don't they don't hear me like the prisoners? Mm. In which or like can I be a little sneaky about asking them this? Yeah, I would say, hmm, do you think it's, you're pushing your luck maybe, or, mm. not really. Trick maybe. I, I don't think you'd have to roll for us not no. to hear you, I mean, you're guards, you could literally just like, like Yeah, literally, that's, that's what I do, I like. Yeah. Like, just literally tap to him, turn around. Oh wait, what? Why? The only thing it might do is that they have a moment to talk. Okay, fair enough. I'm like, why is he roughhousing the witnesses? Roughhousing, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yes. Why is he roughhousing the witnesses? What, what's that gonna do? <laughs> well, um, yeah. From what I know, that was something very important. And they really want to know what just happened, because they have no clue. Yeah, but like, what those people... I guess they could be suspects, and I, I I glance at like the group of kids in front of me. Are you guys I'm trying to look really in, cos in suspicious? I'm I'm just sitting here in waiting, minding my suspicious. own damn business. <laughs> and I, I look at you guys. You look so inoffensive to me. Like you look so unthreat, like non-threatening. And I'm like, okay, they're all Earth Kingdom scum anyway. So and I, I glance back at them, and I'm like. Yeah, I'm like, I'm a bit, okay, I, I take notice of the way that, like, he just said, and also my impression of the people, you know? I'm mm -hmm. like, okay. Do you want to use this moment to, uh... Got nothing to say. <laughs> now we've, we've kind of decided that we should just stick it out and not make ourselves suspicious, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So we'll just let it happen. Precisely. So as uh, more noses get broken, yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> uh, the um, interrogation group with the uh, bearded lunch commander um, had your way. Me? Well, you you're as in I'm just looking at you. <laughs> Sorry. Specifically, you you look just suspicious. You. Yeah. I'm well, quite sure. I, I start sweating. Good day, kids. Canonically, I start sweating a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Canonically, I'm sweating a little more now. So, my name is Commander Ming. And you lot are going to tell me everything you know, you did, you saw, anything. <laughs> 